What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. Now I'm heading on over to American Dream Mall. Well, not the mall, but it's actually called the American Dream Food Fest, which is one of the largest food festivals here in New Jersey, according to their website. I've been seeing it all over social media. It's only for this weekend, which is uh, July 15, 16 weekend. But I think if it does well enough, it might be a regular occurrence and you might see this all throughout the summer. Anyway, there was a lot of traffic going in. Like I came in 15 minutes before the start time and there was already a long line just getting into the parking deck. And then I heard that the lines towards the festival itself was long and the sun was beating down and it's super hot. Anyway, we came there for the food and uh, yeah, keep watching what we think. I'm gonna go meet some of my friends there and uh, we're all gonna have an epic good time. So anyway guys, keep watching. There, almost. Lines moving. Shade, that's what I need. It's burning sun. Almost there. When you see that sign, it's good. Here's another snake line coming up. Moving so slowly. That's a good uh, description. Okay. Okay. All right, I got the barbecue chicken and Sorry, barbecue brisket and the buffalo chicken. The bao bun, six fifty each. Henry, what is that? Pork belly. Pork belly. Oh yeah. How is it? Good. Is the pork belly? Two bites, you're done. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> Tastes like breakfast? Yeah. It's the, it's the egg, I think. Egg and cheese. Oh, the egg and cheese. That one looks good too, right? This is the um, barbecue brisket. Oh, nice. Mmm. Mm. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good too. With the barbecue brisket, the brisket. Got onions and cilantro on it. So good. Buffalo chicken. Mm. It's spicy. It's good though. Filipino food, patok perat. What do you call this? Bon bon chicken. It's like chicken, chicken nuggets. <laughs> A little kick to it, spice. It's not as crowded as I thought it'd be. Still a lot of people, but the lines aren't as long. Too many options, I don't know what to choose. What do you guys, how do you guys choose what to eat? We all got takoyaki balls. This one is the spicy one. Looks pretty good. Look at that. Put that sauce on it. And put some takoyaki balls in my mouth. <laughs> oh, nice shirt. And her. Got takoyaki balls. Yeah, you gotta love the balls. Balls in your. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like the sun surface. Yeah, I'm not uh, gonna eat it yet. I'm gonna let it cool down a little to, bit. He just wants to put it in his mouth right now. <laughs> He's excited to put the balls get in a, his mouth. Get a, yeah. pair of them, get a pair of balls in your mouth. I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit. Yeah. Very soft I and mushy. Think it was on the grill long enough. Well, they gotta make keep making them, you know. Make it quick. This gotta be super hot. Let me blow it. I'm afraid to bite into it. Because it's hot as balls? Yeah, hot as balls. Hot as balls. It's not like it was before, but it was like this when it's the sun surface and shit. Yeah, it's doable. Yeah, this is a little softer than uh, your regular takoyaki balls. It's so good, but... The expensive oil is on this side of it. Uh, How much was it? Three bucks. Motherfuckers. instead of going online I think that's a nice option especially now but the lines aren't that long anyway but it's a good option if you don't want to wait in line the ube 
ya. Like it? Sweet? Huh? Is it sweet? A little, but not too sweet. I take the cheese. You taste the cheese more. Cheese? Can you taste the ube? A little, yeah. Two bites and you're done. Looks good. I have some too. Yeah, heat the grease. <laughs> Shit. Original right there. Original egg tart. Yes. Does it taste as good as the uh, egg tarts they've tasted Yo. before? Portuguese. Neptune Bakery. Neptune Bakery, yeah. It's a little bigger too. But does it taste the same? Donut? No. Ah, okay. Brian's trying his favorite, of course, the chocolate. Look at that, it's already uh, melted. melted. Melting and dripping. Brian's happy because it's chocolate anyway. So. It's amazing. There's no crunch to it. Yeah, it's like little, I told you, like little cocoa puffs on top. Little yeah, cocoa puffs. Baby mini cocoa puffs. <laughs> baby <laughs> mini cocoa puffs. Amazing. Yeah, this is really good. Just sweet for you, Hannah. Yeah. Oh, I, I know that. <laughs> That's why I didn't buy it. But it's too, uh, too big. Big, too big. Too big. Water. Get the fried dough. What you got? Cookies and cream. It looks delicious, though. It's good. Especially now since it's super hot. Super hot. This is like super frozen. Super frozen, refreshing. Yes. Icy goodness, so man. I would get it, but maybe next time. Delicious cookies and cream. Oh, Filipino food right here. Lechon Bay. It's all about the lechon. I don't think I'm gonna get it because I could get that in Jersey City. A lot of Filipino restaurants over here. Ramen. Alright, here's what else I bought. I bought the yeah, excellent pancakes. They have a store in New York. Look how cute that is. They got faces on it. And um, they have fillings. So this one is, I believe I got the the taro or something. And uh, definitely one of them is chocolate. Oh, this one's bleeding. But that is being chocolate. We need to save them. By the way, I'm home already. So I brought these home. I'm bring the rest of them to the kids upstairs. Look at that. Right. Mm. Pretty good indeed. Nice, soft, fluffy. Got the chocolate inside. Not too sweet, um, has that pancake taste to it, you know, the pancake batter. And then they added chocolate in it. Like I said, I think they have a New York store. And I'm gonna bring the rest up upstairs to the kids. Let's see their reaction when they try it. But here you go. Mm. Here, Callie, take a, take a piece. You didn't bite too much, bite some more. Is that like a filling? Yeah, it's ube. Do you like it? Yeah. Yummy. Yummy? Okay, I guess all you need. Hello, hello. Whew. All right, guys, back in the car. 
uh, pretty much been sweating all day it's super hot out there but uh, we um, finished we did it uh, uh, pretty much I enjoyed it the food was good lines went pretty quickly if there were any lines and um, moved pretty fast I like that you could order through a kiosk and I think you could order through an app if you don't want to wait in line for food there were plenty of food options there the ones that we tried I think my favorite there was the, the takoyaki was pretty good except it was a little um, soft and mushy I'm used to a little more like you know a little harder not too hard but not that soft and squishy thing like the takoyaki which, uh, which is still good and it was just super hot burned I think it burned Henry's mouth and um, I also like the bao buns there they were pretty good I had the uh, uh, beef brisket and the uh, buffalo chicken Henry got the pork belly solid beet uh, and then, then we got some desserts got the pancakes with the cute little faces and uh, Pete got the fried ice cream and um, we also got the tarts I got the ube tart and the chocolate the chocolate tart was really good with felt like there was a, a chocolate crunch balls what you call that the cereal <laughs> so yeah all in all I think it was good expect festival prices um, I spent maybe about close to maybe 60 70 on food plus drinks drank a lot of water because I guess it was like scorching hot out there but yeah hopefully American Dream does another one make sure you come early it does get packed and then there are two time slots from 12 to 5 and the other one is from 5 to 10 you got the 12 to 5 so hopefully they'll come back I think they will because uh, it's supposedly the biggest one here in Jersey I don't know that's what it says on the website so anyway guys hope you enjoyed that video if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe down below ring that bell so you get notified of all our future videos don't forget to like don't forget to comment and if you could share this video I give you my love. <laughs> love you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks.